Sunday morning. We're going to go to Cars and Coffee in Langley at the Porsche dealership. That ain't gonna get me to Langley. Alright, we're here, but uh, I'm not gonna take this camera in, I'm just gonna take my nicer camera in and uh, show you the cars I guess so So that's, that was it. Pretty much just a lot of Porsches. And Alexi took me for a tour, but I didn't film it out of courtesy. So that's that. Uh, I did bring my drone with me, but I didn't fly it around here because A, I didn't want people freaking out about flying a drone over their cars, and B, I'm pretty sure I'm still not allowed to fly a drone around here. But I did bring it, so since I'm out in the sticks, I was thinking about going to go look for a spot to maybe fly it and see how that uh, see how that follow follow function works. So if you're watching this, then it means that I did do that. Otherwise, I won't put this in, and no one will know that I didn't do it.
that could have ended worse. So uh, it basically hit a power line and fell, um, not to its death, surprisingly. It's actually pretty robust, but uh, into a bush just, just beside a ditch. So I'm lucky. Uh, it didn't really even get damaged, just a little scratch here. One of the propellers is broken there, you see, and the other propeller. So this thing still works. Um, active track, or whatever it's called, works well. Um, but if it's really windy, I guess it drifts a bit. Um, just lets the wind do whatever it wants. And since I wasn't actually controlling the drone, I just left it in the active track. Probably didn't help. Don't fly around power lines would be the main takeaway. The second takeaway from this would be to make sure you're actually controlling it. All in all, I think not bad. Pretty good. Pretty much everything was my fault, so won't do that again.